be in this present moment now. Here and now. We are, and you are too. So, we have been saying this for some time. And you are aware of this as you've been going along on this path, that this is the time of waking up. This is the time of going from a mindless existence to a mindful beingness, you see. So, beingness, that is what you are, you see. That is the isness that you are, the unchangeable you, who is not the you that you think that you are, you see. So, as you become more aware, more awake, you notice yourself, and you find that you are the one who is the chooser of your experiences. And when we say that, we mean how you show up in life, which is the dream. That means how do you react, what things trigger you, and all of that. And then you, f you find this as you go along, you're the one who has decided to be triggered. You see, it's actually not the thing that you think that's upsetting you, that upsets you, but it is your interpretation of the thing you think that upsets you, is upsetting you. So we're just saying it like that because there's this whole roundabout way of saying, well, that's, this is projection, you see. That can't possibly be from me, so it's coming from outside of me and it's coming at me, so it's an attack. When really, that was something that you came up with, you see. That was a decision you made yourself, you see. What you want to do as you go forward in awakening is choose to think with who you really are, choose to think with the Holy Spirit. So that is you not thinking by yourself. When you think with your lower self, the ego self, you're thinking by yourself. Does this make sense? That's what we mean by you thought this up by yourself. And in fact, it is by yourself because it's not real and it's never going to be real. You should be glad about that because there's quite a bit of nonsense here in this dream that you don't want to make real. So what you want to do is let it go. Turn to the love that you are and learn to extend the love that you are by stepping aside and allowing it to be extended through you. So, and here we are with you, aware of a lot of questions that have come through, a lot of conversations that we can have. And so we're here and ready for these now. Here's the first question. I would really like it if you would talk about strong anxiety. How can I come back to peace, which is my deep desire, when anxiety feels so real? It's a wonderful question, and in fact, ties right into what we were going to talk about with awakening is becoming more mindful, which is choosing the mind of peace.